How's it going, my BNA studs? Welcome back to a tutorial. Finally, it's been forever. Um, but anyway, uh, the reason why we haven't been making so much stuff is because of school. Uh, me and Austin, we've been doing editing uh, and VFX for a whole bunch of films for our film school. And so we finally finished our semester and we are going to get back to it. So um, we actually did VFX for a film called Sinfall. Or Sinfell, something like that. And so basically it's due to get superpowers and um, we had to do electricity and we had to make doors metal. Um, so, and we had to make a future gun. Uh, this was just for the trailer, so probably gonna have to do more next semester, hopefully. Here is just what we did in the trailer. So, open up After Effects. Uh, we're also gonna need uh, Photoshop for this tutorial, so if you don't have Photoshop, um, you could probably still do it, but just not in this tutorial. Um, so, basically, import your footage. We named ours VFX1. And then uh, drag it to this little symbol right here. It is, it will make a new composition. And basically, yeah, so we're good. So now, let's go ahead and open up Photoshop. And basically, what you're going to want to do is hit Control O for open. And then import your metal door. We already have ours. And it'll make our little new little composition thing. And we don't want these edges, so what we're going to want to do is just crop it out. So just crop it out, hit C for crop, move the edges so we just get the door, because that's all we want. That's all we're going to use. All right, so now what we're going to want to do is import our movie. Uh, I know it's kind of weird. It's not called Video Shop. It's called Photoshop, but trust me, we'll do it. And uh, what you, basically what you're going to want to do is right click and hit make smart object. And then what you're going to want to do is make a new um, a new stage and hit make the dimensions 10 or 1920 by 1080. Uh, this is just your standard 1080p uh, dimensions and hit OK. Then drag uh, the video to that stage and then drag your door to that stage as well. Now what we're going to want to do to our metal door is hit control T and then uh, just shrink that up, hold shift to make the dimensions stay the same and basically move it over to the door. And here's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to hold control or command depending if you're on a Mac or Windows. Um, and then make sure you're on these little corner dots and then click it and drag it. Basically, you just want to match the lines of the door so it stays the same perspective. And yeah, you just want to make sure that it actually is doing what the door is doing inside of the image. All right, so we're good. Now, <laughs> it looks kind of retarded. It's over the black bar. You know, the color doesn't look the same, blah, blah, blah. Um, but hey, that's okay because we're going to do all that inside of After Effects. So, unsee these two layers on the bottom and then hit Control Shift S or Command Shift S if you're on a Mac. And then name it uh, MD. We named it MD and then make it a PNG layer because that's just the jam. All right. Now, import that into After Effects. Drag it on top of your footage. All right, so that looks pretty, pretty stupid. Uh, <laughs> so basically what we're going to want to do is hit Control Y. And basically we're just going to be making our bars, so name it Bars. Also make sure that it's black and hit OK. And then hit Q for your mask tool. And then just mask out. Um, the bars so we can just basically just copy the bars so nothing's on top of the bars everything is behind them because that's how the image was captured and it would look stupid so yes so go ahead and do that and then once you're done with that um, basically what you're going to want to do is make the door look more realistic so what we're going to want to do is hit uh, click effects and presets and search levels add that in and just drag it. You don't want to crush the blacks, um, but just drag it. 
and just see what looks good I'd say about here is good so let's also search in curves let's add that and let's uh, drag that down and maybe just higher the levels just a little bit and then crush bring the curves down I see that's good and uh, let's also the scene is blue um, regardless of the green on the left and the yellow it's it's leaning more towards blue so basically uh, go to hit blue on your curves and then raise that up a little bit and then hit green lower that and hit red lower that um, and then go back to blue it looks like it's a little bit too blue so let's go ahead and lower that just a little bit and I'd say that's looking pretty good however let's unsee this layer and we will see that there is a shadow on the real door and that's kind of what we want to Im uh, imitate so let's go ahead and add a new solid control Y and we'll name it shadow alright and let's go ahead and just mask out the door just half of it because the shadows on half because especially because we're gonna feather it and just play with the settings you know MMM will bring down all of your mask settings and you know extend feather and ma mask expansion shrink it expand it see what looks good in your scene um, if there is a shadow on your door if not then you don't have to do much playing around with it um, but we are going to do it here. So, I say that's looking good. Also, lower the opacity with T because, um, yeah, that's Gucci stuff. All right. So, now that we got that shadow imita imitation going on, um, there is a shadow, a very small shadow, um, coming off of the door on the left. And that wouldn't happen in real life. So, let's go ahead and add a new mask um, just, just by the door. Uh, yep, yeah, that's looking good. Look a look a good. So let's go ahead and add that. All right, where it says add, let's make it subtract. So it's subtracting the shadow, and it's ta-da! It's looking better. <laughs> also, let's go ahead and add a shadow um, to the door. So. I mean, there is already a shadow, but I just, I think it would be a bigger shadow because, I don't know, it'd be a thicker door, bigger door. So, let's go ahead and do that. So, um, hit Control y we'll name this one Door Shadow. And we'll add a mask and hit G for pen again and we'll just make a little mask right here hit F for feather and we'll extend that out and also mask expansion um, hit MMM and lower that or raise it depending on what looks good I say that looks good about where it's at right now um, basically what we want is we don't want the door to be too light because then that's just gonna make the viewer look towards the door and not towards the actor so I'd say about here it looks good it looks like it's in the scene uh, later it'll go to a color grade artist which will make it look more realistic it'll make the image look better but we are just doing the VFX and it's already looking like it's there uh, which is what we want so if you like this tutorial and you learned a lot please go ahead and like and subscribe it helps us out a lot uh, we be we're making stuff regularly now uh, whether that's a tutorial or skit or anything else that we decide to put out for you guys. Um, so please go ahead and subscribe because it keeps you informed of what we're doing and it also lets us know um, how well we're doing. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day.